Labour Party members joined leftists and peace activists to speak out against militarism, AUKUS and the Quad at a Sydney rally on May 24. No subs, no war! Let's get AUKUS at the door! I'm here today on behalf of the thousands of young people across this country that refuse to accept this AUKUS pact and refuse to accept a Labour government that's willing to trade away their futures to prop up the ambitions of a dying US empire. This government's actions are inviting war. But the people want peace. We always want peace. Because comrades, at the end of the day, it won't be the hawks at Aspie or the IPA, nor their lapdogs in the media or walking the halls of parliament that are asked to go out there and die in a war with China. So long range nuclear propelled attack submarines are not about the defense of Australia. They are aggressive, they are inflammatory, and they are raising the likelihood of war in our region. It will be people from my generation People with no vested interests, who never asked for a policy of military escalation, who are sacrificed for a cause that our leaders don't even seem fully capable of articulating to us. Shame. The wealthiest in this country, the capitalist class who have been banging the war drums and who actually have the capacity to play, to pay, won't be the ones that are asked to tighten their belts and cough up the money for these submarines, no. They'll be offered giant tax cuts while the working class men and women on whose backs their empires are built are forced into austerity and have their safety nets ripped out from underneath them. AUKUS is a war pact of the Anglosphere. That's why ALP members like myself have started to push back through the recently formed Labor Against War. We don't just think, we know in our guts that AUKUS is a bad policy agreed for the wrong reasons. The Labor Party has lost its way, comrades. A once proud left tradition defined by the socialist objective is now responsible for giving us the stage three tax cuts, nuclear submarines, and a social security system that sentences our most disadvantaged to poverty. Shame. Shame! So I, like many of you, potentially hoped that the new Albanese Labor government would not follow in the footsteps of Scott Morrison, but it did. And this new government is taking us in the opposite direction of what so many of us want. A nuclear free and an independent foreign and defence policy. The ALP actually has a decent tradition of opposing wars of aggression in Vietnam and Iraq. And in that tradition, we want the government to review and reconsider the AUKUS pact with a view to withdrawing. Right. Only six nations have nuclear-powered submarines. All of them are nuclear weapons-possessing states. So this is bad company to keep. There's a taboo against sharing this technology and this material with any new countries because the global community is actually supposed to be working together to get rid of it completely. I'm talking about highly enriched uranium, which is weapons grade. Australia now wants to break that taboo and import tons of weapons grade, highly enriched uranium to this country to travel the world's oceans outside of safeguards. If there's one thing the union movement has taught me, it's that when you're under attack, you stand up and you fight back. I come from a union that's proudly maintained a total work ban on the nuclear industry for over 70 years. And we've also taken up the fight with multiple governments to keep nuclear prohibitions intact in this country. The US and the UK who have been doing this, they've had these submarines for decades already, they have no solution to this either. In the UK right now, there are 21 submarines that have finished service and are floating in docks, being kept alive, waiting for disposal. One of them has been floating for 43 years after being in service for only 20 years. This fight will be no different. We won't stand for $500 billion of public money being spent on shoehorning a nuclear industry into our backyards. Right on. Not while there's so much to do on the energy transition, yeah. on getting wages moving again, on looking after our most vulnerable and resourcing our essential public services. Because for as long as there's a working class in this country with breath in its lungs and hope in its hearts, we stand a chance when we come together and use our collective strength to stand up for what is right. My home, my friends, my family and community are in Wollongong on Durrwal land and we, like so many others, are committed to stopping it. The submarine base will never be built in Port Kembla. Money for health and education! Not for war and devastation!
fighting for health and education. Oh.